Hello, uh, Dr. Paul Morin. What's happening? Man, it's it's all good here. I'm ready to head up to New York for Vision Expo East. So we'll be eating dinner tomorrow night. That's it. And this is all a launching GRT Summit 2024. And, and beyond. So we'll talk about what we're doing this year and then what we got in the future, too. And beyond. Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, hey, uh, viewers and listeners out there nationwide, uh, I'm Eric Mate, president and CBO of Acrinos, joined here with uh, Dr. Paul Mormon, the uh, founder of GRT Summit. And we're thrilled to join you all remotely. Uh, Dr. Mormon, you're there at your practice in uh Germantown, Tennessee. Is that correct? That is correct. I got hung up here late. So normally I'd be at my home office, but um, we're, we're uh, as we do a lot with GRT, we're flexing and, and just rolling with it. Absolutely. And, you know, hey, I, Paul, you know, the fact is that's part of owning a practice, right? I mean, it's part of running a business for that matter is going above and beyond doing what, it, doing what it takes to make it happen day in, day out. And, uh, well, you're coming to us from Germantown, Tennessee. I'm up here in uh, New York City on the uh, front end of what's going to be an amazing week as we've got uh, some GRT Summit activities. We've got the Business Builder presented by Acrinos, the Loft Eyewear Show, and so much more. So, uh, But y'all, hey, those of you who are turning, tuning in live, thank you so much for joining. As uh, Dr. Moore and I are going to jump into GRT Summit, you know, what it is, who we are, and why you should join us. I know, Dr. Mormon, we've got some great announcements, some really exciting announcements for what's to come this year. So uh, what do you say we jump into things? Well, let's let's do it. Let's go. So as we were uh, touching on before, prior to going live, coming in remotely here, getting all the controls set up, coming from a from a single laptop here, but I think we are we are good. So uh yeah, so Dr. Warren, why don't you start by just kind of sharing with us a little bit about who is GRT Summit? I mean, really, like, where did this idea come from? Yeah, so you know, as 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 we as we play this out, Eric kind of knows exactly where it came from because uh, Eric and I have known each other. We've been buddies for probably ten plus years. Um, he was a a rep in Alcon, and he came into our office when he was first starting up uh, with my Alcon rep. So we met 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 in the the front front lobby of our office years ago, and hit it off right off the bat. And I was fortunate enough to to speak for Alcon for a couple of years, and got to to travel with Eric in uh, the great um, area of New Orleans and and South uh, South Louisiana. Um, you know, so we've just kept up over the years and um, COVID kind of happened and we we didn't get to see each other for a couple couple bit or a little bit. But, you know, we we by chance, you know, we met up at the Vision Expo West meeting. So we, you know, as we get prepared for Vision Expo East, we can we can say that we have part of this um, part of this event is uh, born out of a Vision Expo meeting uh, where we met at a a place, uh, a little watering hole in uh, the Venetian and talked about, Eric was telling me about Acrinos and I was telling him about my idea uh, for uh, GRT. And, you know, as you can see here, this is the basis of GRT. This is the backbone of GRT. So independent minded optometrists who really want to, you know, work hard and really are, are, are driven to grow their practice to retain their key staff members and how to do that, you know, cause it's, it's always easy to hire a great staff member, but it's sometimes it's hard once you train them up and you get them really ingrained in your office and your office culture to keep them. Um, so ways we can do that and also how we can retain our key patients. Um, you know, those are the patients that value what we provide to them. They value the services that we provide and we want to keep, them coming back year after year um, into our practice, and and we want to support them as, as they support us. Um, we want to all the offices that we have. They're they are engaged in transitioning their offices to a modern eye care practice, and 
Um, this is where I rely on Eric and some of our other vendor friends is that we pull in these vendors uh, and, and our vendor friends, as we call them, we don't call them vendor partners because these folks uh, we've befriended and they are coming back year after year to be a part of our meeting. But these are the guys that are helping us get to that next level of providing eye care uh, to our patients. And then ultimately, we want to pass our baby on to the next generation. Um, we really want ODs who want to participate and collaborate in a small scale community. You know, um, I, I am a part of a, a, uh, a group that uh, um, it's a large group that, you know, where I collaborate with folks on a large scale, but I really like the small intimate gatherings where you can really get to know people better. You can really share more ideas. Um, the lastly, I wouldn't say lastly, but um, cause this was actually on the top of my list is we want optometrists that are adventurous <clears throat> and, and just love the great outdoors. That's uh, one thing that, that has been ingrained in my heart from, from when I was a kid is loving going to national parks. And we kind of said, there's nothing, there's no meetings out there that are meeting in national parks. And we want to be that group that meets in national parks and, and just really engages in collaborating, not only in the, uh, meeting rooms, but also out on the trails, on the kayaks, uh, biking around a, a peninsula, wherever it may be, horseback riding, whatever it may be, um, we're going to collaborate in all parts of this meeting. Absolutely, Paul. And I got to say, man, like, you know, just as we're having this conversation here, thinking back to where it all started just a few years ago, right? That that very first event, Zion National Park, uh, and we realize that, man, like your, your your vision of putting together this event for independent minded optometrists to come together that, hey, let's grow the business. Let's figure out ways to retain the practice with our team, within our community, and ultimately transition this practice uh, and pass the legacy on. It, it's fascinating to think that, you know, it all started a couple of years ago, Zion National Park. We realized that, hey, we're striking the core with something and then fast forward a year to Acadia National Park. And wow, what an amazing event that was. And now here we are uh, launching into 2024. I know we've got some exciting things on the horizon here. Uh, so why don't we, why don't we jump into that? Why don't we jump into sharing a little bit about what's next on the horizon with GRT. There's a really great photo. Paul, this is from what the sunrise hike at Zion, right? Yeah. So as Eric knows from starting starting a business from scratch, you kind of just, you know, you just really jump in all in, you know, there's no, there's no dipping your toe in. There's no, um, I mean, you just can't operate that way. You know, whether you're starting a practice, whether you're bringing on an associate or a partner, you just got to really dive in. And that's what we did with uh, our, our first event at Zion National Park. I said, we're going to make this trip, you know, unforgettable for everybody that attend. So uh, one of the things that I, I I love is sunset hikes and sunrise hikes. So we uh, we loaded up uh, some sprinter vans at about probably five in the morning, drove up to this trail, hiked out about a, a mile to this Vista Point, um, watched the sunrise, watched some uh, big head rams run around. I mean, it was just, it was incredible. It was the, it was awesome. uh, you know, I, yeah. I could not, ask for more from this first event. So um, if you're, if you're just now tuning in, this is the, this is the kind of stuff that makes it different. Um, yeah. In addition. That, that... Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to go right into this slide, but you go ahead if you need to add something. Well, I, I was going to mention, you know, you, Dr. Morgan, you're speaking to it from a, from a doctor participant span, standpoint. Now I think I can speak to it from a, from an industry friend standpoint, as far as the opportunity to connect with with doctors, with you know business owners, with with industry colleagues, in, in a way that you know you, you're just not going to find anywhere else. And you know to think now of where these relationships have gone, but also where these practices have gone. I mean, you know, to think just in the last month how many doctors we've connected with and just, just in like hearing updates, right. You know, even just in seeing like, Hey, where they're achieving this goal, 
you know, we started with this vision of what we wanted to achieve back at, at GRT and Acadia about six months ago. And now here we are now with it. And it's just, it, it's really exciting to see everything unfold. So yeah, Paul, why don't you share a little bit about, elaborate a little bit more on kind of, you know, the ins and outs of GRT and exactly what it is. Yeah. So, so initially it was, you know, a, a once a year annual type meeting. That's kind of where we started because, you know, obviously, as I said, you want to jump all in, but you know, it, it's hard for somebody practicing five days a week and hard for somebody who is growing a business like Eric is just to dedicate, you know, a year round time to this, but, but it's evolved to that, which is really, really cool. Um, but the first thing I want to tell you is that GRT is not just a transactional meeting. And when I say that, what I mean is that you go in, <clears throat> you sit in the CE room, you get your CT, CE certificate, and then you leave. This is not this is not what we do. So if that's all you want, uh, this is not not the meeting that sh- that's for you. If you want to, you know, join in on a collaborative meeting of just independent minded ODs and uh, vendor friends. This is this is your meeting because it's it's just the the epitome of a small group meeting where you get to, you know, join a meeting uh, with a bunch of you know folks that you don't know, but leave with a group of friends, um, and not not just not just your OD colleagues, but also your industry friends that are really um, they are you know desire their desire is to help you you grow so we we handpick our our vendor friends you know we we screen out different folks that are interested in the meeting we have a lot of people that want to go to this meeting and and exhibit at this meeting but we just we just don't let everybody come to this meeting um if you've ever heard of like a concierge type meeting or if you've ever been to one there there are some out there but all you have to do with grt is just get to the airport and we take care of the rest. So we take care of transportation from the airport to the site. We take care of the meals. Um, we take care of, you know, if you bring your spouse, we have events for, uh, for spouses, uh, family members. Um, Everybody in, is invited to the meals. So if we have a group, group meal, you know, spouses, kids, everybody's invited. I know, uh, I heard stories last year of Eric kind of entertaining and bouncing kids around on his knees and stuff. Uncle Eric, you know, helping out with some of the family. <laughs> um, the highlight of the event, you know, in addition to the CE and the business building is just our group adventures that we do together. So, and, and the group adventures are not just the attendees. It's the, our vendor friends that get to join in on these, uh, on, on these adventures too. So I tell vendors, uh, our vendor friends all the time that are interested in the meeting. I'm like, you don't just have the 30 minute, you know, uh, exhibit hall experience. You can hike a four hour hike with a group of ODs and have four hours of their time to talk to them about growing their practice and helping them out. Um, uh, the last thing is, is, you know, this whole meeting is about relaxation and inspiration. We want you to come to this meeting, relax. You know, if you've, paid attention to anything on LinkedIn. There's so much research out there about how much you gain from being out in nature um, and just decompressing um, and how much inspiration you can take back to your practice. It's kind of a a mind, body, and soul kind of renewal um, in in this process. So, Absolutely. And, you know, Dr. Mormon, I got to say, these are a lot of things that really resonated with with me as far as realizing where the opportunity is here to bring this to the forefront. And now here we are on the cusp of jumping into year three. And uh, it's it's absolutely amazing to consider also that once again, where doctors, you know, doctors who, who have attended in the past, where they are now, in their practice, in growing their business. And, and it's really exciting to consider the connections and the impact the GRT Summit is playing in, in helping doctors hit that next that next chapter of the career, right? The next chapter of the business. So here's some, uh, oh man, this is great. Like you, you mentioned a moment ago, you know, the, the, the connections here with vendors, that's from uh, 
but this is from Acadia National Park, lobster yes. dinner one of those nights. I mean, just so many really mm -hmm. exciting things going on. So why don't we uh why don't we go ahead and jump into you know, let, let's talk about GRT Summit and what all it is, right? Because it, it, it is far more than just the event, which I know I'm real excited to share the details of that here forthcoming. But um, even outside of that, Dr. Moore, why don't you share a little bit of what we've got in store here in the GRT Link community? Yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, the original plan was, <clears throat> hey, we're going to have this summit. Um once a year. And, and, um, you know, I, t I told my wife when, when I said, I want to do this thing and I'm going to put some money into it. And cause I think it would be, you know, really just super cool if we could get, you know, some people out to this event and, you know, we put it out there and it was like, Hey, you know, we hadn't really had anybody sign up yet. And then all of a sudden, boom, we had one, and then we had two, then we had a family of four coming. And then we, you know, it was just, it just snowballed, snowballed, you know, and, and these are all people that didn't know each other. It was just people that found out through various, um, various avenues, whether it be from, you know, publications, uh, review of optometric business, um, you know, Eric helped out with, with the, with the marketing of this event. But what we learned is that when these people got to the event, they didn't want to just, stop at the event. They wanted to continue this year round, you know, cause it was, um, we all liked each other. We all enjoyed each other. We all wanted to keep collaborating. So uh, we've changed this from just a, a single event to, Hey, we're going to do, we're going to do stuff year round. So just for example, um, you know, just starting tomorrow, we're going to get together all the GRT folks that are going to be at uh, Vision X Week. We're going to get together and we're going to have dinner together. Uh, Thursday morning. Sorry, there's a train coming by if you hear it. Um, we're going to hike the High Line, which is a which is an outdoor hike um, on an old train trestle in in um, New York City. It's a just a super cool outdoor activity. Um, we're gonna you know we're gonna be there to to support the business builder event that Acrinos is putting on. We're gonna have a happy hour at the loft. Uh, we've got webcasts throughout the year. We're gonna do happy hours at um, Tennessee, uh, the Tennessee Association meeting. That's my home, home, uh, home state. So we're going to, you know, start there. We're going to do AOA. Um, we're, we do a pre-summit webcast. So this is where we, we get online with uh, some of our vendor friends and we talk about how you make money when you're out of the office. So we use our vendor friends to help us with this because you know, we're asking you to spend four to five days outside of your office. We want to tell you like how you can still be profitable while you're at this the summit, learning about how to become more profitable, how you can be profitable while you're there. Um, we go into so um, we're going to do we're going to be at the Vision Expo West. We're going to do a hike at the Valley of Fire, which is a really incredible state park out there just outside of Las Vegas. We'll do a happy hour out there at the at the Yardbird where, where GRT Summit all began. Uh, October, we're going to join uh, Richard um, with Bevel back out at the uh, the Loft Hour Show in San Francisco. Uh, we're going to do a, a we're going to do a event across the bay over in uh, Sausalito, Tiburon area, uh, where we're going to be close to Muir Woods. So we're going to do some build us business building, but we're also going to do some hiking out in Muir Woods, Angel Island. Oh, that's uh, going to be some, amazing. Just some really cool stuff. Uh, November, we're going to do a post GRT. So it'll be a, you know, kind of a three month after we'll talk about what we learned, where, where we're at. And then we're also going to prep for the spring GRT summit, the first ever spring GRT summit, uh, which we'll talk about here in just a second. So. I mean, you know, it, 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 Dr. Warren, once again, to, to tie it back to, it all started as this idea of, Hey, let's pull together like-minded independent optometrists that are looking to grow, retain, transition the independent practice. And it's really exciting to see the sense of community that's evolving out of this, this concept. And now with seeing, as we're going to start talking about some of the, some of the, I mean, you know, now going down the list of events, once again, an opportunity to connect in a lot of really, uh, a lot of really fascinating ways that, that benefits everyone, right? I mean, uh, attendees. Um, there's a clip from 
what uh, Washington D.C. last year an optometrist meeting AOA. Yeah, so this is uh, you know we 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 do these kind of connection hikes at various you know the various big meetings because what what we do at GRT we don't want it to take away from your your state meeting we don't want to take away from any of your national meetings that you may attend we just want to have this meeting as an enhancement to what what you're already doing so uh, please continue to go to your state associated meetings that's very important uh, near and dear to to our group is that. You continue to support your national, your state meeting, your national meeting, and even your regional meeting. We were at SECO, Eric and I were at SECO together. We did a happy hour there that I didn't mention. Uh, but yeah, we took a, um, and if you click on, um, I'm sorry, go back real quick. So um, if you go back, Eric, uh, so that's, oh, yeah, a, yeah. That's, that's myself and Eric and um, Richard Briggs, who's uh, uh, at, at Science Space Health, one of our, our near and dear vendor friends that uh, the, the, the three of us with, with several other folks, we did a, uh, probably about a 12 mile hike. And, uh, I think it, 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 it was a good haul. It was a good haul. That morning. It was great. We, we saw everything. We went out to the Jefferson Memorial, which a lot of people skip just cause it's a little haul out there, but we did, uh, we did a good hike out there and had a great time just talking and sharing about how we can make, you know, optometry better and continue its uh, prosperity for the future. Um, and it really is, you know, get, getting back to it and just thinking back to that particular day, man, it was really, it's powerful, right? It's powerful to be in these environments and experience this together and have conversations that can really transcend a lot of, a lot of elements. And, 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 it, and it, it does tie back to an opportunity to help, help doctors, help practices have impacts in their community and just bring vendors and, and 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 entrepreneurs doctors practice owners together in a way that's that's never been done so uh let's talk a little bit about you know the the future of grt and kind of where things are going here yep so <clears throat> one of the things that eric and i talked about from the get-go um is that we want to keep the the meetings small enough where they can still be intimate big, big enough where we have a lot of good folks there that we can share ideas, but still enough, small enough where you can be intimate and have just groups of, you know, five to 10 that go off and, and, and do a hike or, or ride horses or um, fly fish, whatever. Um, so we, we want, we're going to keep, we're planning to keep this meeting capped at 40, 40 ODs. Um, we're just going to keep building a strong uh, vendor friend community. We already have this great, group of folks that are very supportive of our, of our group, you know, and it's, it's interesting when I go to talk to some of these folks, um, these vendor um, marketing folks, they say, Oh, well, your meeting is the favorite meeting that our representative gets to go to for the year. It's almost like it's a, a sales goal for the person to go to, to visit our meeting because it's just so different than any other meetings. It's not a, three to two to three days, just standing in an exhibit hall all day long. It's uh, well, you stand in the exhibit hall for three or four, two or three hours, but then you get to go hiking or you get to go do some fun stuff with us. Um, we're going to, like I was saying, we're going to expand to two GRT summits where we're going to do a spring and a fall event. Um, and we're going to expand to more year round events. So we want to be uh, involved in more state meetings, more regional meetings where, even if it's just three or four of us there, that's how you, you you start and that's how you build something. And and then we uh, I've talked with many other independent minded kind of small small meetings, specialty type meetings where we're, we're going to look at partnering with some of those folks because uh, they're doing really well. We're doing really well with our groups and uh, we can make them better together um, and, and have some great events together. Absolutely. You know, uh, uh, you touched on so many really exciting elements of GRT Summit here. And, and I think most notably is the, the involvement and support of the profession, right? The AOA, the state association, the large regional events, because what's pushing forward the profession is also pushing forward healthcare, right? I mean, expanding scope of care, expanding the impact that optometry can have in communities just serves everyone all the more better. So, you know, uh, again, Dr. Mormon, I suppose this is, 
in part by tossing it out there to prospective vendor partners that would be interested in getting involved. You know, the, the, the vision of GRT Summit in supporting collaboratively with the state associations, the regional entities, um, and AOA is, is tremendous and really excited for all the things in store here. So, um, Paul, why don't we, uh, Oh, wow. What is this from, by the way? I, I don't know if I remember seeing this in the slide deck before. What is this slide well, from? Yep, You have not seen that yet because this is our sunrise hike that we're going to be doing this September. Oh, wow. So that's the, the U trail that we're going to be doing out to um, a point where we'll watch the sun sunrise. So just like, I, it, just like in oh, Zion, uh, Eric, we're going to load up probably – five in the morning or so, take some to-go breakfast sandwiches and just head out there, hike out about a, a mile and a half or so and just have a really inspirational uh, morning hike. Man, um, so this amazing. is this that's is amazing. our, you know, just kind of overview for our meeting this year. So we're doing things a little differently this, this year with Wednesday. We're going to have a couple of different options for you. So our, uh, our, just our model, our official meeting starts Wednesday afternoon, let's say 5 p.m. with an opening reception and then a, a dinner. Um, but we're going to start a little differently this year where if you want to come out and do a full day of CE, because, you know, what we learned from doing these couple meetings that a lot of people want to attend. But, you know, um, some folks just say, well, I need to get more CE at the meeting that I, I go to. Uh, you know, and I would always encourage you to go to a local meet, some local meetings or your local state meeting. but we're going to have a CE day on Wednesday also. So uh, people that want to do an eight hour COPE CE day will be, will come in Thursday or excuse me, Tuesday evening. Uh, we'll shuttle them over to Estes Park and then we'll get up um, Wednesday morning and do an eight hour CE day. For those of you who don't want to do the CE day, but are really interested in extreme kind of adventure or, really getting out there out of your comfort zone. We're going to do about a 13 mile hike up, um, up a peak across uh, to another peak down, um, down a little glacier and back into where we started. So um, that's, that's our uh, kind of our, we have a group of about 10 people that do these adventurous hikes. Eric joined us last year. Um, we had, I think eight the first year. And um, everybody, everybody really enjoys these because it's just something that's a super unique experience in addition to just what we're doing with with the whole group. Uh, but yeah. but for those for those of you who, who just want to just come to do the, the meeting, you'll you'll fly in Wednesday. We'll get you um, to Estes Park. Um, but the cool thing about this year is the folks we have a we have a GRT member in Boulder, Colorado. So those who are coming in for the for the just for the opening reception type meeting, um, we're going to go to Jeff's practice on the way in. So you're going to get to tour a really highly successful uh, practice and um, see what all what his office is all about on the way to Estes Park. And then then we'll pull into Thursday where we do uh, we, we still have Cope CE business building. We'll do a group adventure and a dinner. Friday is we're going to do the sunrise hike. We'll do a CE business building. We'll do a, a sunset event that night um, where we're going to travel to the top of a, a, a ridge line and um, cook out, do s'mores, and we'll wait till the sun goes down. We'll do scar stargazing, a whole lot of just really cool stuff. Saturday, kind of a kind of a copy of, of, of Thursday. We'll do Cup CE business building in the morning, then a group adventure. Uh, dinner sa Saturday night, and then Sunday we'll get up and, you know, we'll get all get back to the airport to head home to, you know, fully energized and inspired to um, just grow, retain, and transition our business. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Paul, I got to say, man, it, 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 an amazing, amazing uh, itinerary and agenda we've got here for GRT Summit 3 in 2024 going down in Estes Park, Colorado, Rocky Mountain National Park, September 4th through the 8th. Uh registration is open. Yeah, registration is fully open there on the website. Yes. Here's some more picks that you've gotten uh these are from trips uh, I think fairly recently. You you, you made a you made a, these are, a journey these are, out there. 
So these are also um, Estes Park pictures. So on the left is the where we're going to be watching the sunset. Um, so we're going to be on top of a little ridge line watching the sunset over the the Western Rockies. Um, on the right is um, is we're going to do a, a horse uh, horseback riding adventure. Um, this is actually my daughter that I, I was behind her. So I was t I took a picture of her. This is where we go. You trail ride up to a ridge line. You cross some Colorado streams on a horseback. It's just it's just really cool. It's about a three hour experience. Um, you have a, a horse wrangler that leads you. So it's fun for all ages. It's a very, you know, mild uh, adventure. So don't, don't think that if you attend this meeting that you have to be, you know, wanting to climb mountains or stuff. We've got um, we've got some very relax, relaxing adventures with horseback riding, uh, fly fishing. Uh, we're going to do a uh, what, what my wife calls a spa adventure. Um, and then what, um, Tyson, uh, Allard, spa adventure. Uh, what Tyson called a brewery adventure where we, uh, went to some locally brew local breweries <laughs> in Zion <laughs> national park. So, um, but yeah, go ahead Love and skip it. to the next one. And, uh, th this is just kind of, uh, people, people we've talked to, if you want to skip to the next slide. Here. Yeah. These are, these are just people we've talked to things, places we're thinking about, um, all centered around national parks. So um, very close to, to finalizing Death Valley National Park for uh, spring of 2025, which will be in probably late February, early March, and then following that up in the, in the fall of 2025 with Jackson Hole. Uh, looks like the following year in 2026 will be in Sedona and then Yosemite. Um, the rest of these are just kind of, it's, it's a little up in the air, but it's all places that either one of our members has told us about or something that just seems like it'd be a really cool place to go. Um, you know, so there is some really, really neat stuff. And this doesn't even include some of the international things that we've, we've talked about uh, doing in the future too. So. Absolutely. And, you know, look, it, it all ties back to what is, the, the mission of GRT Summit, and that is to pull together like-minded optometrists that are looking to grow, retain, and transition to independent practice, right? Come together for some great, I mean, you know, we, we, we did kind of brush over the, the continued education, but the medical CE, I mean, our speakers that we've had here the last couple of years, our speakers we have lined up for, for Colorado, for Rocky Mountain, are just out of this world, but I mean, through and through from top level medical CE to engaging business workshops and collaborative breakouts with your peers to, well, I mean, adventure and, and, and fellowship and community in, in America's national parks. Uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, now, Paul, I missed out on this one. This was that first uh, adventure hike at Zion. That, uh, yeah. that I missed out on, but man, this, I've heard the stories of it. So we, we screen out all of our, <clears throat> all of our speakers too. So um, I meet with each of the speakers before and, you know, basically I, I uh, entertain people who have heard about the event that, you know, I, I want to speak there. So my, my rules for speakers are one, you have to practice. So you can't be a retired optometrist and just be speaking. Um, number two, you have to work more than at least three days in in your practice because, man, there's some there's some really great speakers out there, um, and we but we want them in the trenches that are that are doing what they're talking about. Um, they have to be talking about new technology and and new new wave kind of stuff. So, but yes, um, we'll go on to this. So this was our very first adventure hike that we did. Um, we went, we hiked out to uh, the top of Mount Charleston, uh, which was an 18 mile hike. So very rigorous. Um, you know, I, I probably bit off a little more than I was wanting to this first go round. <laughs> um, the, the Diaz you gotta go girls, for it, I mean, you got to. Yeah, the, the Diaz girls who are kind of in the middle there, you know, uh, on the way down, I was like, I told Kelly, uh, my wife, who helps me out with these meetings, I was like, I don't think they're ever going to be back. I just really think they're really mad at me. They might actually go home 
<laughs> because of this hike. But uh, they were the first ones to sign up for the second meeting, and they they did the uh, free adventure hike with us again. So it was great. But this is just oh, kind of a great a, time. Yeah, and if you just keep clicking, there's a bunch of pictures in here too. Uh, so this is all about oh, getting yeah. getting people out of their comfort zone. On the right, that's us uh, hiking Angels Angels Landing. Um, this is on the left. We, this is our sunset event um, in Acadia, which didn't, the weather didn't turn out so well, but we still went out to a, a point and just had a great little event. Um, that's uh, kayaking in the, in the bay. This is sea kayaking where we saw seals. Um, this was our pre-adventure hike at Acadia where we went, uh, we went to the top that of Cadillac awesome. Mountain. So we had a, we had a big group there. Yeah. Eric and his wife were able to join us there. Um, and, and this is, um, this is kind of the essence. This is, uh, you know, my man, Eric, and uh, one of our, one of our little GRTers, as I call this, is one of the, uh, the daughters of one of our, uh, uh, Joe Deering, who's been at both of our meetings. Uh, his daughter brought her guitar and wanted to play guitar with Eric. So we had a little sing-along around, a, around the fire and making s'mores. So uh, lastly, our, our sunset sail uh, at Acadia. So, these are this is what makes memories and this is what makes trips memorable is uh, not not only going to cool places and, you know, seeing, you know, the splendor uh, of America, but just meeting some really cool people that you're sharing these expense, uh, these experiences with. Absolutely. And uh, Dr. Mulvern, I, I've got to say, and I think I speak on behalf of not only myself and Acrinos, but, you know, all the vendor partners that have been a part of this and, the many, many GRT Summit attendees that uh, just can't stay connected with through, you know, social media and seeing stories about their practices, you know. Um, it, it's it's really a, exciting to be a part of this and so incredibly excited for what's to come here on the horizon this year. So um, registration is open for GRT 2024 in uh, – Estes Park, uh, grtsummit.com. We've got we've got twelve already signed up. So, um, if you're new to the group, better better get on there soon because, like I said, we do cap it at forty just because that's that's where we found the uh, the sweet spot was. Um, and you know we've got you know that's probably six new people. Um, so we've got a lot. Of returning people that are going to want to come back to us to spark. So um, if you're new to us, come, come check us out at vision expo. Uh, we'll be at the practice builder, Acrino's practice builder or business builder. I'm sorry. I keep saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. The business builder. <laughs> um, we'll be hiking the high line. So check out the socials. Um, check us out on LinkedIn. Um, uh, GRT link on uh, Facebook. Um, GRT ODs on Instagram. Um, we don't, it's, it's a little tough getting everything online. The social media is such an easier way to get these done. So uh, check us out. And uh, if you're going to be at uh, Vision Expo, uh, text, um, Eric, text Eric myself or, or put, a, put a chat in this, um, this LinkedIn Live uh, kind of deal. And, and we'll, we'll be make sure we meet up with you in New York. Absolutely. Well, uh, hey, Dr. Paul Borman, man, uh, can't wait for everything that's in store for GRT Summit 2024. Heck, man, can't wait to see you here in less than 24 hours right here in New York City for all the exciting things going on. Uh, Dr. Walmart says, exciting time to be around optometry, and it's exciting time to get involved in GRT Summit. So yeah. um, here's some and, great and year. I, I'm going to throw a shout out. Congrats to South Dakota. Just got a new scope of pra practice uh, expansion. So um, that's uh, – scope of practice is near and dear to uh, – one of my uh, one of my partners, Chris Roden um, from Louisiana. So um, we want to see it across, you know, fifty states. You know, the same same scope of practice across fifty states. So that's one of our our goals is to to help each other out. Um, not only not only in our our individual practice, but as our states as a whole. So see see you guys soon. Hope to see you at the twenty twenty four GRT Summit. Awesome. All right. On behalf of Dr. Mormon, Eric Matei, signing off for GRT Summit 2024.